What's going on guys and welcome back to the Team 69 Crew channel. Now in today's video I'm giving you the uh, uh, car duplication glitch tutorial that I said I was going to give you at the beginning of the week after posting up my last uh, glitch. Um, I had a few requests from people asking if I could do it a bit slower and do it a bit more step by step so you can see what's actually happening so you can actually be more successful at doing this glitch before it's um, been patched. So um, the first thing you're going to want to make sure, as you can see in my garage at the minute, I've got a friend in my session with me. Um, I've got one custom donk and there's five yellow elegies parked on the right hand side. The five yellow elegies are going to be the cars I'm going to be swapping to make the duplicate donks with. So any slots in the garage, it works in any garage, it doesn't matter. So make sure you've got a, a full garage of elegies and this glitch will work. And the first thing you're going to want to do is spectate your friend that's in the same session as you. Um, and make sure obviously their settings are set to allow to spectate so you can do this um, and what you want your friend to do is as you're spectating them in the session you want to join a rockstar uh, created race it doesn't matter what race it is it can be a land race can be a, he a helicopter race doesn't matter but um basically what you want to do is make sure you tell him not to change any settings in the menus don't change vehicles don't change time of day don't do anything like that just make sure everything in the race is set to normal nothing's been changed and what you want him to do as soon as it's available to come up you want him to press continue and confirm to play the race on his own whilst you're spectating him now after that's been done you'll see the 321 screen come up after the 321 screen has come up you want your friend to hold down on the d-pad and select to go into a single player uh, session it doesn't matter what character he chooses, it can be any single player session. Um, so what will happen here is your screen will go black because you finish spectating him and it will say there's no players ready to spectate available, um, do you want to join an online session? You'll click yes on that and it will kick you into a public session. Now once you have joined into the public session you'll be back at your house if you set your house as your last location to spawn. Um, and basically what you want to do in the meantime of you joining a public session is you want your friend to go from single player into the pause menu and start up another public session um, separate to the one you're joining. <clears throat> now once your friend is in that session you want to bring up your pause menu again and select your friends and instead of spectating this time you want to make sure you select join session um, and this will put you into the session your friend is currently in. So as soon as you can you want to join him make sure your friend does it quick enough so you can get into join his session in progress uh, again you'll respawn into your garage and as you can see I've still got my donk and I've still got my five uh, non-customized elegies that I'm going to be replacing um, what you want your friend to do is outside your garage you want him to go and grab any street car that's storable in a garage and whilst he does that you want to walk up to your car that you're going to be customizing and duplicating um, and you want to sit inside it until he is ready and outside your garage door in the street car that you're about to store now as soon as he is ready outside you want to jump inside the car and just drive it outside your garage. Now the trick here is to not drive your car at all. So once your car has come out onto the road do not move. Your friend will be in the street car at the top of the hill. You also don't want him to move either. And you want to jump out of each car, this, uh, out of your um, donk or whatever car you're going to be duplicating and walk up to the street car your friend is sat in. <clears throat> once you have um, reached the friend's car you want to ask him to jump out of the street car and you jump in the driver's seat and take it into your garage. Now you want to make sure that you don't get run over in this because if you do get run over and you get killed the glitch will uh, unfreeze itself and you have to start all that last process again but once I'm in the street car you can see my friend has walked down into the donk and he is sitting inside my custom car. That is very important. Have your friend sit in your custom car whilst you're taking the street car into your garage. Now make sure he doesn't get out and what you want to do is say your garage is full because your elegies are in there so you want to replace any elegy with the street car you have just taken into your garage. As you can see I've replaced the top elegy. Now it's important now that you turn around and leave your garage. Um, and what you want to do once you're outside is walk back to the car you're going to customize. Your friend is still sat inside your custom donk or any low rider you're picking to choose to do this or any other street car. Um, <clears throat> it works best with any street cars that are below £50,000. If you try to do this as a supercar you can only duplicate one and sell it. So. Uh, yeah, once you've uh, got back into your car, you want to take it back into your garage, and this is actually now your duplicate car. So what you want to do is now it's in the garage. It will say the garage is full. You want to select the street car that you just took into the garage and replace it with the donk you just drove in. And as you can see now, at the top of the garage, there are two donks. Now to replace the other three elegies, all you've got to do is walk up to the one you have just put into the garage and take it back outside to your friend. 
that is important that you don't take out the original, you want to take out the one you've just duplicated. So again, you want your friend to be in a streetcar outside waiting for you, and you want him to jump into your custom car whilst you take the streetcar into your garage. So hopefully guys, this tutorial has made it a bit easier for you and you can understand how to do this a bit clearer. Um, apologies if it does sound a bit tricky, but it is a very tricky glitch to get right the first time, steps by steps. If it, I mean, if you, have to, if you have to pause the video whilst you're doing a step by step, I would advise to do it because you'll get it right first time and not have to waste your time doing it. Um, this patch is still working, it's not being patched. Um, so it's all good, you can still do this with friends, just utilise it as much as you can. The Donk I've got sells for 500k and it's not fully customised, so obviously you can get more money from that if you have a fully customised car, so you can get about 600 to 700k depending on the car you've got. So um, hopefully guys, this uh, made it a bit more easy for you and you like this video. Uh, if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe because I'll bring out videos like this and different types uh, throughout the, the coming weeks. Um, if you like this video, make sure to leave a like and thanks for watching. See you next time.